day two. Let's go. Uh, let's open these curtains today. Uh, sun's out. Let's get it. All right, guys, so excuse the music. Um, might be copyright for this, but yeah, here yeah, for breakfast. I say breakfast. Woke a bit late today, so lunch. Um, again, that's customary in Turkey and get the Turkish bread. So looking forward to that. Ordered something like some chicken wings and rice for lunch today. So let's see how we get on. So my food has arrived. Let's have a look at this. As you can see, got the chicken wings and the rice and all that. So yeah, let's tuck in and see how it is. Let's go. So just boxed off that chicken wings ready for my day ahead um, and now they're giving me some baklava um, for free which um, honestly I don't think I've ever tried baklava in my life apparently it's incredible but I'm about to try this out um, so um, yeah wish me luck wish me luck see if I like it or not mm. okay okay and I know there's a lot of hype around baklava it's decent, but I wouldn't say it's like, wow. So, yeah. And also they gave me the um, obligatory Turkish tea as well. So I'll be trying that shortly again. Let's go. Okay. So, leaving the restaurant now. Um, about to start my day. Um, so yeah, let's head to the center of the old town. Um, and then Probably going to do some sort of tour today, some sort of excursion. I want to see what everything is so I don't actually miss anything. But yeah, interesting, quite, you know, quite a heavier lunch than I initially anticipated. But um, we're here, we live, and we are fueled up, ready for the remainder of the day. So see, this is the first time seeing this part in the daylight, as you may have seen yesterday. I walked back down this route on my way back to the hotel. I didn't know that this was literally this whole massive strip of all the food and everything places are literally just a 30 second walk from my hotel. So um, very, very useful. I have so much options, so much options, so much needed water because today is hotter than yesterday. In hindsight, I probably should not have worn black. <laughs> um, I may go back to the hotel and change, but can't be asked right now. Um, so yeah, hindsight, I should not have worn black. I should have kept, um, I should have kept wearing a short sleeved high collar. It's all right, thank you. I should have kept wearing a, um, a shorter sleeved high collar, so a bright colored um, top because that worked well yesterday, but yeah. I'm not hot, I'm not hot. Man's not hot, man's never hot, but um, it could get pretty warm. But after the excursion, um, I think on the excursion today, which I think I know what I'm doing today, you, you guys may see. I think, um, I think we should be good with this outfit because it may get a bit chilly because I'll be moving at some, at some Oh, you know, huh? It's bizarre. Okay. Straight up. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nice. <laughs> All right. All right, this guy's is taking me to to look at his his business. So let's see. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I told you yesterday. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, yeah. London. Yes, yes. Going. <laughs> oh, what? What is this? Turkish delight. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. He's the famous guy here. Okay. Not famous. He's famous. Mm. Not bad, not bad. So this, this is my first time trying Turkish delight. So what's in it? Very nice. Dietary chocolates. Okay. Very nice. So you make it from scratch here or? Yeah, okay. we are here doing. Okay. Watch right. my auntie. She's doing silk carpet. You can take okay. video, but. Yes, you may have the scene there. Um, tried some Turkish delights for the first time and let me tell you it was delightful um excuse the pun um but yeah 
So we're out, obviously lots of friendly people out here in Turkey. Obviously they want you to buy stuff um, as well, but ultimately, yeah, I've not been tested too much or bartered too much. So yeah, this is, um, this is, this is the vibe today. Popping today. Yeah, honestly, it's kind of warm. <laughs> it's kind of hot. Hindsight, I should not have worn this long sleeve outfit, but all black as well today. But yeah, it's all right. I can still taste this Turkish delight. You know, I need I need a shop that has some water because that Turkish delight was super sweet, super super sweet. So let's see where we are now. The question is, I also need to get some cash out for today's activities. But well, let's see where we are now. Yes. So we are back in the center of the old town, I believe. This is where I'm at. Okay, every corner you look, there's something delightful to see. Um, I, I really do need to get some water ASAP because I'm starting to feel a little bit dehydrated right about now. So let's see. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, it's really busy today, I'm not gonna lie. I, um, and I haven't seen any cash points. I remember seeing some cash points yesterday, but today I've not seen any cash points. So yeah, I not seen any cash points today. And I forgot where they were yesterday. There was, there was some cash points in a line yesterday. Yeah, out here is heaving. Heaving. But look at my views, look at my views. Beautiful, man. This is actually, sorry. This is beautiful. Honestly, I wanna just sit here for a little while and just take it in, port, um, and just enjoy the scenery, the views. Very, very nice, honestly. Yeah, right now, everyone back in the UK, they're enjoying freezing cold temperatures and rain and i'm out here today today is 30 degrees 30 degrees as you can see not a cloud in sight and just beautiful views fantastic blessed all right so i just walked around the circle hoping to see a cash point um did not see a cash point it is busy 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 <laughs> it is hot today oh my days yeah, in hindsight, I probably should have went back and changed into my t-shirt. All right, let's walk past a woman crying. Not sure what's happening there. Not sure what's happening there. Um, all right, so I'm gonna stop this for, for a minute and see if there's any sort of organization in terms of a cash point, in terms of a place to get some water, all of this stuff, because it's not looking good, bruv. It's not looking good. All right. Okay, so I have found yesterday's cash points. They are right over there. So I will go over here, take out some mola, and yeah, hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. I don't even know my, don't even know my pin code. I don't use. I'm not used to using a bank card. It's been a while since I've used any sort of bank card. So let's see if this actually works. <laughs> Okay, so them, um, them, those banks were ridiculous. Them banks were ridiculous. They had an 8% markup on them. So I'm going to try and find an exchange office, which I think. So I think I've just found an exchange place. I'm hoping the exchange rate here is better than the banks because this is ridiculous. Can't pay 8% extra. I'm on hard earned money. So let's see what this exchange rate place is saying before anything else. <laughs> okay, let's go. So finally got my cash out. Um, yeah, I went to an, ex an exchange shop and they only take cash. Everything here is just tax free and semi, semi fraudulent. <laughs> but so I had to end up going to an actual cash point um, and yeah, I had to accept the paying additional fee. I did try a couple of cash points. Well, I say a couple, I tried about four. 
um, and I found one that was the lowest, the lowest markup. So I only paid around four, four to five pound more than what I would have paid taking it out direct. So I'm happy with that. Best of a best case scenario. Um, so now it's gonna go and explore this road a little bit um, before heading to my excursion. Let's see what's in front of me. Okay, so yeah, to be fair, a lot of the roads here, the streets look mostly the same. I'm gonna be honest, just all well, just have food places, restaurants. You know, I just realized I also didn't get a bottle of water. I didn't get my bottle of water, so I have time. But everywhere is just food, food, food. Not many ever things around. So um, I'm gonna go try and find somewhere that has some water, because again, getting very dehydrated now. And today is busy, busy and hot. But we gotta stay hydrated, very important in this type of weather especially um yeah it's funny it's funny how the world has changed where you know no one even really bats an eyelid at somebody walking around with a camera and all sorts in their face it's just okay guys so i'm having major technical issues at the moment i'm not sure what's happening but the camera keeps stopping so if you see if you see um this footage jump to just a random spot it's because it didn't capture what I was trying to record. Now, I think I may have figured out what, what is causing it somewhat, but um, yeah, it's, it's quite annoying because in the last five minutes I was just walking, a lot happened and you guys missed that whole five minutes, but it's fine. It may not have made the edit in the first place, but um, hopefully it's recording now um, and we will see what the rest of this video has in store. What I was saying in that five minutes that wasn't recorded, um, I have an excursion starting in about 30 minutes um, I have found uh, the meeting point now. Um, however, I may not be able to record much of this excursion just because of the nature of it, but we will give it a try, at least a little bit. Because um, as I said earlier, I want to do something so I can actually explore the city a little bit, not just on foot on my own. I want to I get some history and understand what's happening. Um, so there's that. And now the task at hand is to find some water so i've been walking for a while looking for a supermarket again supermarkets are very few and far between in this city for some reason um, but i've just found somewhere now so i'm about to head in and get some water yes so we are still recording so i think we may have fixed our issue so finally find a supermarket let's go get some water okay okay what is the best one? Oh, look at the, the power aid there is looking very tantalizing. I just want a normal sized bottle of water. Okay. Let's hope they, hope they take card here. Hope they take card here. It's not, I mean, it's not even cold, but it is what it is. Okay, can I just get that please? Thank you. How much is that? Ten lira. Okay. Let's see if we got any cash. Thank you very much. Okay. Oops. Okay. Well, she couldn't. She she couldn't wait to get in the store. Literally just squeezed past the smallest gap, and she could have waited two seconds. All right. Cool. Yeah, this woman's on a mission. She's just literally pushing everybody out of the way, just 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 to pay for her water. So, I got my water now. Um. That cost 10 lira, don't know how much that is in, in pounds, probably like two pence. Um, and I did use cash this time, which felt weird. I'm not, I'm not really a cash user. Um, but yeah, I still have quite a bit of time before I need to, before I need to actually head to my meeting point. So I'm gonna keep, keep it moving and keep it going and see what's happening. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you, how are you? <laughs> okay. Where are you from? London. London. Welcome. London. Thank you. Thank you. Have you been Bloomer? I haven't yet, but I will be later on. Yes. I have a shop here. Okay. I sell Turkish handmade carpets. Okay. When I show you. Maybe later. <laughs> Maybe later. I give you my business card after you come. Okay. Yeah, I'll take your business card. Yeah. 
Okay. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> These guys love, love being on camera, don't they? <laughs> All right. Many, many carpet shops, obviously. No one taking a carpet back to the UK. So well, I'll take it. I'll take the business card. Why not? Handmade carpets. Let's see what's going. Let's see what's popping. Yeah, man's taking me on a mission. Man's taking me on a mission. I feel like I walked down the street before as well. The street feels familiar. Oh, man's taking me on a. Okay, I know where I am. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, all right, so. Nope, not this one. Uh, my man is on a whole mission. Where are we going? I'm tempted to just disappear. <laughs> you have no disappeared. This, 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 oh. Oh, that shop looks really interesting. I should have, oh, these shops look interesting. Okay. I mean, my man's taking me into serious store. All right. Yeah, I, seriously, my man is taking me on a mission. On a mission, fam. Guys, if you don't see me again, it's because I've been taken to some back room. Man's talking to me on an absolute tour of the whole bazaar. This is very bizarre. Now I'm going upstairs. Now I'm going upstairs. Guys, if you don't see me again, it's because I've been taken and kidnapped by a random Turkish guy. You better keep me still open. Hello? You better keep me still open. Okay. 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 Yeah. Nice. Have you got any, like a business card I can take? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. I can pass that on to friends. <laughs> My cousin come, he give you small carpet I have. Okay. Small for, like for the gift. Okay. Maybe your family, father, mother. Okay. I have a look, but yeah, probably won't. I can't take anything now because I'm on a, I'm on a mission. mission? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, here, he made. Okay. Okay. You, you want mission? No, 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 no. I mean, like, I can't take anything now because I'm. Ah. Yeah, yeah. I got, I, I got. What time is it? Yeah, I need to meet meet someone in ten minutes, so I can't take anything now. But um, I have a look. Yeah, I have a look. Yeah, yeah. I offer you one Turkish tea. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. No, I'll stand. Turkish tea is very good. I just had some tea, some Turkish tea. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I literally just, just had some food and tea. How many days you are here? Just four days. Four days? Four days, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. So Istanbul or? Yeah, Istanbul, Istanbul. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. For going on a little tour. First time? <laughs> first time to Istanbul. I've been to Turkey before, but first time in Istanbul. For business or for holiday? Just holiday. holiday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Job, job. Yeah, yeah. Hi, how are you? Hi, yeah, I'm good. How, how are you? Are you? Yes. Oh, you like your home, bro? Have a seat. Which it's alright. Uh, London. London, London, London. Yeah. No, that's no, fine. It's fine. I like to stand. I like to stand. I, I don't like to sit. <laughs> what are you gonna do with your camera? Hmm? Oh, I'm I'm always recording. I record. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you guys got anything to show me or? Okay. 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 Well, in that case. What kind of stuff you like? It? In that case, I'll come back another time. It's fine. <laughs> come next time. Yeah. 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 No worries. Thank you. God. I don't sit. Yeah. That was the dodgiest place ever. Fam. These are trying to kick, try to kidnap me. Trying to trying to get me to sit down and close the door. You're having a joke, fam. You're having a joke. These are trying to get me to sit down in the back of the room and then close the door. <laughs> you, think I don't, you think I didn't see the game before? You think I didn't see the game before it even happened? Try to get me to sit down. I hope you guys saw or heard all that. Didn't want, all right. What's up, bro? Hey, hey, hey. They didn't want me, they didn't want me to, to have the camera on. That's when I'm gonna buy some coffee. That's one. And then two. But you know, I just, I just entertained it just to see what will happen. That's all. Because I knew, I knew what there was on, but I thought, let me, 
Yes, yes, yes. I thought, let me just um, entertain it and see what they're on. And I knew it. I could tell from the way how they walked in. I can tell from the way how they walked in. All they saw is guy from London, probably has money. Let's try and fleece this guy. And they wanted want me to sit down at the back of the room and I, they, they would have definitely closed that door and tried some, tried, tried some, forced me to pay for something or buy something. Ha! <laughs> ah, this place is mad. I've heard too many, too many wild stories um, for, me to, for me to ever not be cottoned onto that sort of stuff. Trust me. In fact, I, I read a story just last night. Somebody left a review on, on one of the excursions I was about to book. And I can't, even, I can't even repeat that on YouTube, but the review that they left, a solo, a solo female traveler, that's all I will say. Unbelievable, um, and not surprised. But anyway, um, yeah, they the chose the wrong one today. Not me, not me, not me. Sit down, fuck that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, let me, let me start um, heading towards my excursion. I have, I still got 20 minutes, so I'm very early um, and yeah, I don't want to go too far away from where I need to be. I, oh, I'm keep seeing some very interesting stores here. But yeah, very interesting start, start to the day. Let me see what the hell's in the store. No, 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 no. You know what? Also, what puts me off wanting to go into certain shops is as soon as I, as soon as I step in, people try to pull me in and I don't have time for this. I just wanna I just wanna browse and slow. Oh, sorry, thank you. Yeah, I just want to browse. I just want to explore. I don't want to be, you know, followed around or walked around or be kind of pushed to try to purchase anything. Uh, just let me just browse freely. You get me? Hello. Okay. So. We are heading towards the excursion now. Um, let's, so let's see. Um, yeah, let's see what happens and let's see um, if I'm going to be early, late on time. Um, honestly, after that, after that carpet shop debacle, um, I'm not in the mood <laughs> for any more people chatting to me. Um, I just want to get out on my holiday and enjoy my life. You zimmy. Um, but yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see. The thing is, I walk past about 45 carpet shops. Fair enough. I, I don't know how they think I'm getting a carpet back home. Having a barn. I wonder how many tourists actually do purchase any of those, those carpets because it's just, not, it's just not really convenient, is it? To buy a whole carpet in Turkey. Apparently handmade as well. Okay. Where's the proof? Where's the certification? <laughs> but yeah. Walking these... Turkish streets right now should be coming up upon the meeting point shortly. Yeah, it should be coming up upon the meeting point shortly. So let's see. I, again, I think I'm I think I'm maybe about ten minutes early ish, but um, it's fine. Hello, hey. Hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I think we're at the meeting point, and it's already it's already got everything out. Let me show you. This is what I'm doing. And even though I've done this a million times before, this is what I'll be doing. I'll be doing this segwayzy segway tour. For me, well, to be fair, I normally abroad. I normally like doing um, like bicycle tours or something along those lines you know where it keeps me fit but you know riding around is really enjoy it but i don't really like these segway tours anymore i used to do them all the time but not anymore so but this is the only thing available in istanbul so i'm going to do this tour just to understand a few more things about the city things that I, I can't really pick up myself by just walking around so yeah let's see how it goes now do i meet right there at the outside the fire station or do i just um you know what let me go to the fire station um, and yeah, start packing things up, ready to get on this segue. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now, looking at the people who may potentially be with me in this group, this could be a long tour. <laughs> this could be a long tour. Um, not gonna lie. I hope no one falls. I hope no one falls. But everyone stays safe. What I do need, though, for certain, 
is I definitely should have, um, even despite the heat, despite me going to be moving around, I should have most definitely wore a shorter sleeved non-black outfit because it is absolutely blazing today. But yes, we are here waiting for the Segway tour. And yeah. Okay, so we are about to start the Segway tour. Um, they're giving everybody else a bit of a training little piece. Um, I didn't get any of that. I told him I'd done it before. I, I haven't done it for about five years, but I've done it before. And yeah, I picked up, I picked it straight back up. Very easy. So yeah, everyone else is just getting warmed up and, um, and I'm just here waiting for everybody else to arrive and get ready. This guy is his first time doing it as well. So um, he's starting to get used to it as well. His, his partner though should be practicing more because she looked very shaky. Um, but let's, yeah, let's, let's flip this camera around a little bit. Okay, hopefully you guys can see me. Hopefully you can't see my fingers in this shot because I am holding it. I am holding it manually now this time, but hopefully you can see that I am on the Segway and this is, this is, this is, this is, this is me. Very easy, simply. <laughs> um, so yeah, Segway journey. We're gonna go on a bit of a mission. We're gonna we're gonna go on a mission. Obviously, also, <laughs> I'm using my phone for this for this shot, and the, uh, my phone has no case. So if I fall, my phone falls. Oh my god, I'm gonna be so upset. Brand new iPhone 16 Pro. Let's go. Okay, well, we're on the Segway tour. Um, there's only one other person, two of people in my group. Um, they're slow, they're <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but um, yes, we have the tour guide. Thankfully, he's not caring about their slowness and he's just cracking on at speed. Um, but yeah, getting to see most of the city. And you know what? Now, part of the reason why I wore this outfit today um with it being you know long sleeve etc i thought on the segway tour i'm gonna be freezing because i'm gonna be blowing in the wind no i'm not i'm absolutely baking absolutely still baking so yeah uh, my hammock's falling off and um yeah hindsight i should have went back to the hotel and i should have went and collected my t-shirt but stuck in traffic on the segway as well at the moment so yeah so that traffic jam that traffic jam was because apparently there was some very important group of women that um so the police stopping all the cars on the road and letting them get into a special mercedes maybach van so that's why we was in traffic also going back to my outfit um to be fair i don't think it would make any difference what outfit i wore because it's not my body that's warm it's just my face if the sun hitting my face is unreal so in hindsight i should have probably in hindsight today i probably should have worn my son um my more sun appropriate hat even though it wouldn't have worked on the Segway, but yes, because it is insane. Anyway. So, just arrived at our first stop. And you can see, um, I guess I'll find out shortly what, what this is and where we are. But let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, first stop off. Um, this, this spot looking nice, to be fair. I noticed that not too far from where I was, it was a very nice um, area. Um, I'm not sure where I am, but I'm definitely outside a mosque. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask the guide what mosque this is um, and see what's happening. But let's see. Okay, up the steps. This is looking nice. Marble floors. Okay, marble floors. Oh, not sure. This is looking very nice, beautiful, scenic views, scenery. Um, obviously, I'm speaking quietly because people are probably here doing their thing. But yeah, very nice architecture of this building and here we are okay 
Excuse the helmet falling off, guys. It's not a good look, but it is what it is. Considering it's partially European, because Istanbul is divided between two different continents, there is the Asian Istanbul and then the European Istanbul. We're now on the European Istanbul. By the way, only 3% of the land of Turkey is in Europe. The rest is in Asia, actually. Yeah, maybe 7% is in Asia. And as I said, we're on that 3% now. Um, 16.5 million plus refugees plus tourists. On an average, every month we receive more than 2 million tourists in Istanbul. According to the numbers from 2023, with over 20 million tourists, it was the top visited city in the world, not just in Europe or Turkey, in the whole world. So that makes it the top touristic destination in the world, actually. A lot of people come to see uh, the history, the culture, they want to try the food here, they want to interact with the local community here. And yeah, we offer a lot of things in the same time. But as I said, like the traffic can be too much sometimes. It's like stressing uh, the people. Um, like it's a bit, um, as I said, too much. But other than that, anything you look for, you can find in Istanbul. I mean, it was the capital of Romans, Eastern Romans, and then Ottomans throughout the history. So if you're someone into history and culture, you're going to see the signs of these three civilizations in this city here. So in that way, it makes it special. Uh, you can simply say for 1600 years the world was through, through here because these empt empires, they were like, you know, the best of their times. Romans, Eastern Romans, and then the Ottoman uh, Empire here. Um, the name of the country nowadays is Republic of Turkey. That's the full name, by the way. Uh, people Turkey. sometimes. No, not Turkey. Uh, not <laughs> Turkey either. Republic of Turkey. That's the full name. Okay. That's how okay. it is in Turkish law. Nice. Uh, we. Um, you know, internationally they mostly call it like Turkey, but last year we changed even that, like it's Turkey, but for us in our law it says Republic of Turkey, that's actually the full name. When you say Republic of Turkey, it sounds like it's only the country of Turkish people. No, it's Turkish people, it's Kurdish people, it's up yeah. to 6 million Syrian refugees here, it's Armenians, it's Greeks, it's a Jewish community. Uh, it's some Afghanians recently with the Taliban takeover in Afghanistan, some Russians, some Ukrainians with the conflict between the two sides, some Iranians with the last issues in Iran. So made up of a lot of different nations, ethnicities, and we created a good community here. It's under 20 years old now. It was built in early 1500s, 1501 to 1506. And we don't make anything complicated. We call them with the name of the person who builds them. They mm -hmm. the Sultan, they the Mosque. Okay. So we call it the Yazid Mosque, that's how we name them. Okay. Uh, there is only one exception, the Blue Mosque. There is no one called Blue here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. Uh, you wouldn't call a Sultan Blue. Yeah. Uh, but we don't call it Blue Mosque, we call it Sultan Ahmed because it was built by Ahmed the first. Okay. Blue Mosque has two different names. Internationally, Blue Mosque, in, in local ways, we, we call it Sultan Ahmed. Yeah, mm -hmm. Built by Ahmed the first, so yeah. Okay, so I am in cat heaven here. Yeah, so many cats. This one here is eating or ravaging some chicken right now. Ravaging some chicken. Look at this one. See if he runs off. No, he's not running off. But he's big black cat there. Oh, no way. Oh, wow. He's still about to fight. He's still about to fight.
And this one, this one, this cat's about to choke. Thinks having a bit too much. Having a bit too much. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Living his best life. Wow. I don't know where to step. I feel like I'm gonna step on step on a cat, so don't be careful. Yeah, this cat is too busy eating his food. He doesn't even know I'm here. Doesn't even know I'm here. Wow. Look at this baby one. Look at this baby, baby cat. This little baby kitten. <laughs> baby cat. Somebody feed him. Somebody feed this baby cat. <laughs> Somebody feed this baby cat. <laughs> Literally, cat heaven. Look at this cat as well. So adorable. Oh, of course you start licking yourself as soon as I come around. Go on, get yourself clean. Psst. Oops, just a little sneeze there. Little sneeze there. Another baby one. This time black. <laughs> so cute. Well, this park has been nice. This park has been nice. As you can see, we are in this park, whatever this park is. What's going on? Taking a step into here. Let's see. I think this is another mosque. Oops. Okay, it is. We just. This looks very familiar. So we are on location. I think this is Hagi Sophia. In between Hagi Sophia and Blue Musk, I believe that's what the tour guide said. Um, this is very, very beautiful views here. Very beautiful views. In a bit of shade right now, but the sun's out still. Um, yeah, honestly, I have to say this is um, lovely, lovely views. Um, can't complain. Um, yeah, it's just very, very well. It's a symbolic thing. Very well. Um, hopefully here, you guys can see. Hopefully you guys can appreciate what I'm seeing here in person through the camera. The camera doesn't always do it justice, but it is definitely beautiful. Beautiful to see. Um, yeah, wow, wow, wow. Okay. Got a slightly better view from this angle. Look at this view again. The camera is not doing it justice at all. At all. But yeah, we're out here. We are out here. And yeah, just trying to get some footage now of this interesting part of Istanbul, Turkey. All right, so I'm gonna get away from the crowd now because I don't like big crowds for too long. I don't mind them, but not for too long. Um, <laughs> someone just tried to hop on the Segway just randomly. I don't know what she, she thought she was doing. 
Um, our guide had to run and chase her um, and take it off her because she looked like she was about to fall off. I don't know who would see a Segway on the side and just think, let me go and try that. Um, oh, that's cute. <laughs> Sorry, you can't see what I'm seeing and I don't want to turn the camera around, but there's, there's a little cute kitten just sat in a woman's lap. It's loving life, enjoying being loved. Um, but yeah, day two, Istanbul has been good. Honestly, the sun is, is just beautiful. I'm not sure how much more footage I'm going to take throughout this whole entire trip because if I keep taking footage the way I have been taking footage, this is going to be like a four hour vlog. So I'm going to um, try and be very concise with my footage and in my editing, I'm going to definitely bring this down a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I'm, if I'm going to do like a quick highlight reel or am I going to do part one, part two, part three, but guess we'll see. Guess we will see. Um, but look at this view here again. I'm, I'm not sure you can see from the camera, but it is stunning, stunning views. All right, I think it's time to get back on the Segweezy. Let's head back to the Segways. I don't even see the rest of my group. I say group, it's a couple of people. This, this, wait, this dog, I don't know if this dog is sleeping or something else because yeah, this dog looks like he's passed out. Um, massive dog as well. I don't want to get any closer to that. Um, disturb his sleep. Seriously, how do I get a cat in my lap, man? How do I get a cat in my lap? This is adorable. Even though these are street cats, so I don't want to um, <laughs> touch them just in case they have, you know, fleas. Even though cats are, are generally clean animals constantly grooming themselves but yeah time to head back to my segue okay <laughs> not bad yeah it's a bit high it's a bit high <laughs> it's a little bit high <laughs> um okay so segway toys been going on now for maybe the last two and a half three hours um, so I think it's I think it's coming to an end now. My legs are getting tired. I'm not gonna lie. Even though I've not been walking, my legs are tired. So yeah. Hopefully you can hear me because it's very windy here as well. In the middle of the old town, I believe. You can I'm not sure if you can see behind me, in front of me, everywhere. But very busy, very popping, very heaving. And um, yeah, I think we're heading back to the start point now. So the Segway tour is just about to end. Um, so yeah. See you at the next checkpoint. Let's go. So, I never stop on the Segway tour. Back at that park actually that we saw yesterday. So I'm gonna go and see what this um, this thing is about that he told me about. I forgot what he told me, um, but let's go have a look. Let's go have a quick look at what this is. Um, I think this is something that's been here for few hundred years let's have a quick look inside is it something incredible oh, oh you can go inside okay this is just freely open is it safe to go down here this place is just open and it's free at all times is there any doors lockable nope okay so is any English writing here? There's no English writing. I don't know what I'm looking at. And to be fair, I, was, I wasn't closely listening to what he was saying, but it looks like some sort of artwork underground here. Yeah, not really a huge amount to see down here. Um, the sign behind me, the sign behind me says Wadet. Wadet, whatever that is. But um, yeah, let's go back up out, outside into the sun. That's where I want to be back outside into the sun. Okay. Okay. So he said we have 10 minutes here. That was finished in literally one minute. So I'm good to go. I'm good to go. But yeah, it's nice that they have that there for free. You can just, you know, go see the history of whatever this place is. I feel like I'm disrespecting it a little bit, but um, yeah, I should 
I should have listened to what he was saying, but I, I was zoning out. It's been a long, <laughs> it feels like I've been, what, I've been about a three, four hour tour so far. So yeah, I'm ready to sit down and just live life in the sun again. But it's been very useful. I'm very glad. In fact, whilst I'm here towards the end of the tour, I'm very, very glad and pleased that I did do this tour because um, I learned so much and seen so much things that I probably would never have seen and learned um, if I was just exploring on my own. So very, very pleased. Money well spent and very enjoyable as well. Um, yeah. So definitely recommend it if you're in Turkey, Istanbul, do the Segway tour because it's not that expensive. And you get, if you get the guide that I got, which is um, Taruk, great guide, funny guy, um, and very personable and friendly as well, and knowledgeable. So, yes, recommended for sure. All right, guys. So, um, yeah, I've just sat down in this restaurant now and. Um, yeah, I've just ordered the sea bream, so let's see what the fish is looking like. Um, again, day number two, and we'll be having dinner number two, so let's see uh, what it tastes like. Let me see. Cool. Okay, my sea bass had arrived and some bread as well. So let's see what this fish is tasting like. I didn't even ask for the fries, but they gave me the fries. Very nice. So, yeah, just had dinner at this restaurant here, and um, hey, you alright? Yeah, so. Yeah, just had some the sea the sea bass at this restaurant here, and um, yeah, a few things. First of all, they forgot my sauce. I didn't get I didn't get any of the sauce. Um, but it is what it is. I didn't even ask for it because I wanted to just get out of there. The fish tasted really fresh. That was great, good. Um, hopefully, it doesn't have any. Hopefully, it doesn't make me sick. Um, but because it was an actual real fish, not what you get in the UK with the, the fillets, um, it was so bony. It was very difficult to eat, very, very difficult to eat. But overall, it was very, very nice. Um, can't complain at all. Um, but yeah, let me, I'm just checking now. I got, I got everything. Pockets check, pockets check. Okay, cool. I got everything. Um, I just had to, <laughs> this cat is running around scared in front of my feet. But yeah, so now we're on the way back to the next destination which is back to my hotel um, for a slight change of clothing um, for my next activity, which is why I had the sea bass today because I wanted something really light to eat. And the reason why I want something light is because what I'm, I'm doing next, I don't want to be feeling heavy and bloated and fish is always very quick and easy to digest. Um, so um, yeah, going to have a Turkish bath, um, hammam, and massage now for the next 90 minutes um, so I'm gonna go back to the hotel um, and wait for my car to collect me to take me to the destination let's see if we can actually get back to our hotel without a sat nav this time I think I know a general way of where it is um, but I'm gonna try and use my black nav for anyone of my friends out there you know exactly what I'm talking about watching this for the people who are not my friends watching this um i have built-in black nav <laughs> built-in sat nav um normally i don't get lost i can figure out places and how to get places without even without even using maps typically so um i'm gonna try that today try that now and retrace my steps um all i know is that i am two minutes three minutes away from um blue mosque and if you look behind me this is um not the Blue Mosque, but this is the Hagi Sophia, which is directly opposite Blue Mosque, which, mosque, which is um, just over here, as you can see. So that means my hotel is probably about this way. <laughs> I'm thinking. Um, but <laughs> let's see, let's see. The question is, do I go right or do I go left? Now, Black Man was telling me to go right. Yep. Also, apologies, I just realized I'm eating a sweet, so my gums are probably smacking, which I know can be very, very jarring. Um, but yeah, I'm bopping it, I'm trekking it, I'm moving quick because I want to get back to the hotel with enough time to get changed, relax a little bit before my car comes and picks me up to take me to my very relaxing and hopefully luxurious excursion well is it an excursion just some, just some, just some much needed rest and relaxation that's what we need that's what we need 
Um, hopefully you can see the scenery behind me because it's looking very beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. In fact, let's look in front of us as well. In front, it's a nice, beautiful view as well. Let's see this, absolutely beautiful with the sunset behind the blue mosque and the lights and the greenery around it. I think this is, yeah, a nice, very nice part of Istanbul. Yeah, I wanna go for that bazaar as well at some point down here Let's spin this around here so you can see um, they have this bazaar down here um, which is a bunch of shopping I do want to go down the bazaar in fact so what time is it now um, I may actually go uh, you know you know what I shouldn't do this but I'm gonna go down this bazaar very quickly very quickly but come with me come with me down this bazaar because tomorrow my plan is to explore a completely different part of Turkey um, not be back here again until maybe Sunday. Um, okay, so let's see what's down this Arasta, Arasta Bazaar. Do I see anything? Anything that I want? Anything of note? Interesting. Mm. Okay. There's literally everywhere I turn, there's this stuff. There's stuff. Everywhere I turn, there is stuff. But nothing that I actually give a damn about. Let me be honest. I, you know, I wouldn't mind. I, I wouldn't mind a new, a new bag. Um, I need to go into one of these stores and see what they're going to charge. But I wouldn't mind a new bag um, to put my filming equipment into. Um, oh, what is this in here? Let me have, let me have a quick look. I do, I do need to, um, look at, I, I do need to, um, I really do need to also, um, yeah, nothing that I need. Unfortunately, cute little cat. Hi, no, so just, just looking, just looking. I wanted a, a bag like this, but I don't think you have any. I don't, I don't think you have any of these. Yeah, no, nah, I wanted, wanted one that goes over my shoulder. Different, different style, but that's fine. Thank you. Um, at some point, I do need to also get a a magnet. So anyone that knows me, it's my tradition. I have a tradition where every country I go to, I will get a magnet, um, no matter what, I will get a magnet. Just, I, I used to, fridge magnet, I used to put them on my fridge. No longer do that anymore, because it's a mess. Um, so I just keep them in a box somewhere. So for every country I've been to, I have a fridge magnet. That guy looks so familiar. Hmm, interesting. Um, but yeah, I need, I, I need to actually. Hi, thank you. Yeah, so good, so good, thank you. Um, yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's all, you know what? All of these stores are basically exactly the same. Mm. All of these stores are basically exactly the same. Um, so I'm gonna do a quick left because that's what my black never telling me to do and head back to the telly and get myself ready. Yeah, every, every store really is exactly the same. But I do need to definitely get a magnet. But I think I say that for, for Sunday. My, these cats are looking so cute. Oh my days. Look at these cats. Look at them, little orange cats. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, street animals for street yeah. cats. Modeling for street animals. There are hundreds of street cats in the seaside. Yeah. And they are countless. Okay, so beautiful. Cats are cute. I wanted to pick wanted to actually pick them up and have a look at them but again I'm not too sure 
about that. Also, that man came over and started, started asking for money. So, yeah, I got no money, unfortunately, right now. Hopefully, you can hear me. There is a prayer ongoing right now over, it's, over the speakers. So, hopefully, you are able to hear me. <laughs> yeah, the way how these are trying to trying to sell. It's hilarious. Alright, so I'm on I'm on a back street right now. I'm on a lot of back street right now. And yeah. Should be back at the hotel within the next I say five minutes, ten minutes max. Thank you. I'm in. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so head in. Thank you. We need to go into here. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. So I have to wear these as my underwear. What is this? Not sure about that. Okay, so the first step, the first part of the Hamam Turkish bath is a massage in this nice massage room. Okay. So this is the hammam. You can see beautiful settings, very relaxing settings. I just had a nice sauna. Um, it says shared, but I had it whole place to myself. And then I also went to the steam room again. It says shared, but I went to the I had the whole place to myself. And this was followed by my massage, and then directly after that I had a private hammam which was amazing um, again all by myself down this path and then in here is where I just the beautiful room you can see hot water in the sink and yeah definitely recommend this place beautiful Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. As you can see, I was laying down on this hot slab, which is warm, or well, hot stone, uh, marble. And yeah, just took a beautiful, beautiful hammam, which was lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. This is one of the ever private rooms they have as well. As you can see, that's not on right now. And yeah, that's, that's that. And now at the end of my treatment, just been given again, some Turkish tea and some cold water. Got some sugar cubes there as well. So yes, five star treatment here. I am, as you may can tell by my voice, I am super duper relaxed. <laughs> I could do this every day. Now it's time for me to leave. Okay. This place ha also has a restaurant here, um, but obviously I'm not here for the restaurant. I came for the hammam and um, yeah, I'm here and it's been incredible. Um, so yeah, let me just head out now um my transfer should be here ready and waiting let's get out of here thank you okay i think um is this the guy uh, are you for me
Are you for me? Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, so just had the Turkish mom and you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait until I'm, I'm somewhere stable because this is gonna be very noisy. So just wait until I'm back, I'm stable and I give a review of what just, what just took place, okay? Okay, so quick little recap about this hammam that I just experienced. So first things first, I'm going to get it out of the way. Everybody that comes to Turkey, I recommend you have to try a Turkish bath, hammam, massage, whatever you want to call it. You have to try it. You have to do it. This is not my first one. I've done it before in Turkey, but it was so long, such a long while ago, I actually didn't fully record the experience, but I've done it today. Um, and it was just me, um, very private. Of course, there's ones which you are in a shared bath. Um, and obviously, I think the massage is all private, but the bath element is shared. But this one, it was all me and my particular masseuse slash bather, or whatever you want to call her. her um, she was very good, very good at what she'd done. Um, yeah, I, you know, whilst I was relaxing, after I finished, I had so much things I wanted to say about it, but now I'm here, I don't even remember everything. All I know is that, listen, from the full experience, from being collected from my accommodation, taken all the way to the spa, and then the entire treatment was first class. I felt like a king all the way through. I'm not gonna lie, I need to do this regularly. I need somebody to bathe me <laughs> regularly and literally, not only so i chose the full the full program um so you get a full body massage full body massage which was incredible um yeah that includes that even includes like your stomach and chest the uk full body never includes your stomach and your chest um but yeah full body head massage nice oil applied to my face um and then after the massage spent about 15 minutes in this um, sauna and in steam room, beautiful, very plush and clean, um, you know, equipment and services there. And then after that, took me to the actual um, hammam and again, lay down on a, on a slab of hot stone. And this included being drenched in hot water, then drenched in a foam, very nice, um, very nice foam which was quite light and um it had you know lots of essential oils in there and it just smelled beautiful the aromas were lovely and then foam was again washed away after that i got literally scrubbed like with she had like a hand mitt on and it, and it, and it, yeah got literally scrubbed all the dead skin or whatever impurities off, off my skin um and then again i never washed down i never rubbed down i never little massage as well um and yeah, just the whole thing from start to end was incredible. And then at the end, as you saw, I uh, gave him some tea as normal and water. And yeah, I feel so relaxed right now. I should sleep like an absolute baby tonight. Tempted to do this again before I leave, but yeah. So yeah, Turkish bath, day two, incredible. Full tour of the old town and then the Turkish bath. And on the way to the Turkish bath, I actually noticed there's some parts of Istanbul, not too far from my hotel as well, which I didn't know existed. I think this may be the new town because yeah, it was more traditional storefronts and shops, um, but it looks like more of the same, but yeah. So I will definitely be checking that out tomorrow. Um, I'm on my way to the other side of Istanbul as well.
So, um, yeah, time for bed. <sighs> or, um, locations for activities, you know, where's the bowling? Wow.